And what do you think, how do you think he handled himself last night? I, don't, I think he had to win the debate, and I don't think he did. I, I think that uh, he had to make, you had to come out of that debate with the idea that, look, Harry Reid, whatever else about him, um, is, is qualified, he's been there, he's fighting for us, and she's Looney Tunes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she did, she did not. She was not terrifying. She was, if anything, reassuring. And uh, Harry Reid also had the problem of running against a woman. It's always difficult how to debate a woman without being tough. But he lapsed into Washington talk. He talked about CBO estimates and the out years. And if there's anything that voters Trans don't want to hear yeah. in 2010, it's Washington inside talk. Last night, if you read uh, some of the local pundits, even some of the national pundits, it was uh, score one for Sharon Angle. For the most part, the pundits tended to hand it to Angle. When we asked viewers who won, they said Angle did better. She surprised me to the positive. Um, I'd heard very good things about her, but I'd also heard very bad advertising campaign speeches. And so I was very interested to see what she really came across as herself. Now we really need him. He didn't step up for me. And I wanted to hear him say something about that he was going to do something to help us and all of our unemployed people and all of our foreclosures, just something. i got to tell you, the person who manned up was Sharon Angle not Harry Reid. I mean, she wasn't intimidated by him at all and, and took it to him. And, and so you have Harry Reid, who certainly can't run on a $1.3 trillion deficit. Uh, you certainly can't run on a 14.4% unemployment rate. You can't run on Obamacare. You can't run on cap and trade. So the only thing he could try to do was try to knock her out, make her look like a buffoon, because the Democrats, that's all they're trying to do right now. That's their issue. Let's make the Tea Party people look like buffoons. They're ordinary Americans concerned about their country. Her answer on jobs was exactly right.